the Human Rights Writer Association of Nigeria, Huriwa, has said that the killing of over 45 Aosa farmers in Sokoto State and the bombing of the Abuja Kaduna train showed that the activities of harmed Fulani attackers and terrorists have grown from strength to strength. Recall that the Nigerian Railway Corporation on Thursday announced the suspension of its operations after bandits denoted explosive on the tracks serving the Abuja Kaduna line on Wednesday. The group, in a statement by its national coordinator, Comrade Emmanuel Owubiko, on Thursday said, It was disappointing and totally unacceptable that President Mohamed Buhari continues to deter in classifying harmed Fulani military and the people terrorizing our country as terrorists. Huriwa accused the Buhari-led government of heavily pampering and protecting terrorists, warning that the earlier they declare, you know, they are declared, pardon, as terrorists, and crushed decisively, the better for the health, stability, unity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It insisted that President Muhammad Buhari is surrounded by northern ethnic bigots as internal security chiefs who share the same ethnos religious affinity with members of the increasingly advancing armed military group, causing grave damage to northwest states, including the recent attacks in Sokoto and the train coming to Abuja. The rights group opined that Buhari does not get sound, qualitative, and objective security advice, which demands that he needs to hire a much more competent, professional, and patriotic national security advisor, who must necessarily not share his same ethno-religious affiliation. Horiwa applauded the former senator representing Kaduna Central in the 8th you know, section of the Senate of the Federal Republic, Senator Shiu Sani, for his courage and patriotism in announcing the possible bomb attack which targeted the train in which he too was a passenger who narrowly escaped being harmed by the harmed terrorists. The statement added that does it make any sense anymore why our president, the head of the Nigerian state and an elected leader of modern day Nigeria, retired military general Muhammad Buhari, is deterring, is you know, in clarifying, pardon, these bad boys operating in the northwest who are mostly Fulani as terrorists. What is the you know, plausible excuse? for the commander-in-chief not to take steps to concretely wipe out these terrorists? Or is it the case that certain actual terrorists are much more favored because they come from the Fulani ethnic stock, which more than other so-called terrorists who are horridly labeled terrorists by the current government and the full force of the military unleashed on them even when they are, to the best of the knowledge of everyone, you know, are not terrorists, but campaigners of self-determination or self-rule. Mr. President should be told in plain English that the pampering of Fulani terrorists by its government will backfire because by the time this pampered mass, you know, murderers finish with the Northwest and North Central, they will then move their locations to other regions in southern Nigeria and this will instigate civil war that may destroy the fragile stability that Nigeria is witnessing. The earlier they declare, you know, they are declared as terrorists and crushed decisively 
and not by audio or fake military strikes? As it is now, the better for the health, stability, unity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the group added. What is your thoughts to this? What is your own reaction to what has been said? That the earlier this, you know, people are declared as terrorists and being crushed decisively and not by audio or fake military strikes as it is now, the better for the health, the stability and unity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. What is your own point of view concerning this present development? We would like you to share your thoughts with us via the common situation of which we have been facing right from time. According to the news, the Human Rights Rights Association of Nigeria, Huriwa, has said that the killing of over 45 house farmers in Sokoto State and the bombing of the Abuja Kaduna train showed that the activities of harmed Fulani attackers and terrorists have grown from strength to strength. Still on the issue of insecurity in Nigeria and looking at the way things are going now, it seems as if the Buhari government is heavily pampering and protecting terrorists according to what Huriwa have said. We would like you to share your thoughts with us via the comment section on this that has been said but before we go let's people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. Ambrose Chioke reacted to this and said, Banditry is ethnic cleansing by Muhammad Buhari to make ways for fulanization agenda. What is your thoughts to this? So, the president of Nigeria is using this banditry as a method of cleaning ethnics in Nigeria to make way for the fulanization agenda into accomplishment. What is your thoughts to this? Do you think this could be the plan of the president? That he wants the fulanization agenda of his to come to pass over Nigeria. That is why he have allowed the banditry activities as a method of ethnic cleansing in this country. Who would like to share your thoughts with us on this? Well, let's move forward and see what other people's reactions is on this. Amos Lawrence also reacted to this and said, Nobilai, you have said it all. The Human Rights Association of Nigeria have said it all. That is what Amos have said. President Muhammad Buhari is pampering these bandits and failed to declare them as terrorists. And if they are not being declared as terrorists, nothing can be done much on them. Especially the super tukinos cannot be used on these people until they have been declared as terrorists. But the president of Nigeria has refused to declare them as terrorists. What is your thoughts to this? According to what Amos, you know, Ambrose has said earlier, pardon, that he is using these banditry activities as a method of ethnic cleansing to make way for the fulanization agenda. What is your thoughts to this? We would like you to let us know your own point of view on this plan development. We would like you to share your take with us via the comment section on this. Don't forget that Buhari government is heavily pampering and protecting terrorists. That is what the Human Rights Rights Association of Nigeria has said.